Hi, today I am making ramen noodle salad um, and maybe a couple of other things. Uh, so for the ramen noodle salad, I went ahead and shredded up. I took a large uh, head of cabbage and it made like four bags of these gallon sized Ziploc bags of shredded cabbage. I just shredded it in my um, food processor. So I'm just gonna do it right in here because this has to set overnight. Um, so I've just got my cabbage here. I no, normally it calls for green onion and I don't have any today. So I'm just gonna use like a quarter of uh, chopped white onion. And I had just a little bit of red or purple onion left in my fridge. So I'm mixing the two together. That'll give it some nice color. And then to this, I'm going to add one package of ramen noodles. This is chicken flavored. You can use whatever flavor you like. Um, and I always like to crumble it up before I put it in there. Make sure you don't have any pieces that are too huge. And I'm going to dump my ramen noodles right into my bag here but I'm gonna take out the seasoning packet and we're gonna use the seasoning packet, packet for our dressing. So, um, for the dressing, you want a half a cup of oil. I'm just using canola. Little tip here, do not use olive oil. Olive oil, because this goes in the fridge and the olive oil will clump up and kind of solidify. And uh, so you never want to use olive oil when you're going to be putting something in the refrigerator or want to keep it cold. And then, okay, so I'm adding one tablespoon of sugar and I'm going to go ahead and get out my little whisk. Stir that around a little bit. Um, about a teaspoon of salt. I generally just kind of eyeball this. I don't think I use quite as much salt as what it calls for, but it still turns out pretty good. And some ground black pepper, uh, about a half a teaspoon. But again, I just kind of eyeball it. And then it calls for three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. I do recommend apple cider vinegar. Um, I think I've tried it with white vinegar, but apple cider vinegar works the best. I prefer the flavor a little bit better. So there's one, two, three. And then you take your seasoning packet, your ramen noodle seasoning packet, and add that in. Whisk that all together. I'm just gonna dump my dressing right into my salad. And I'm gonna use my spatula here to get all the rest of that seasoning out of there. And then all you gotta do is zip it up, mix it around. You can also use a coleslaw mix. Um, just make sure that, uh, depending on how much dressing you like, I don't really like a lot of dressing. So I can't, I tend to go a little bit heavier on the cabbage um, and a little, you know, so I don't have a ton of dressing in there, but um, it's all by preference. Some of the other additions you can do, like I said, you can do green onions. Actually, that's what the recipe calls for initially, whites and green tops, and just chop those up. I think it's uh, maybe like, uh, two or three green onions chopped instead of the white or purple. Um, you can also add shredded carrots if you want a shredded carrot mix. Um, but it does sit overnight, so you don't want any kind of vegetable that is going to be uh, get soggy sitting overnight like that. So you just put this in the refrigerator overnight and it's ready for the next day. Now for the topping on this, I went ahead and uh, chopped up some almonds. I keep uh, whole raw almonds in my uh, pantry pretty much all the time. And uh, you can just do raw almonds if you want, um, slivered, chopped, whole, whatever you like. 
Um, but I like to toast them, so I'm gonna put these on the burner on medium low heat. And when those are, when I can start to smell them, I know they're ready. Now I'm gonna go on to making a flatbread, quick flatbread pizza for my lunch. So I have all my ingredients here. So for the flatbread pizza, we keep these, um, these are actually non bread. It's just a, it's a great way for all of our kids to have the type of pizza that they want. They can do their own individual ones. I'm gonna do this in the toaster oven because it's super quick. So I sprayed my pan with Pam and um, I just have jarred pesto. Usually we use um, just pizza sauce. Some of my kids don't even like that. I might brush this with a little olive oil and put the toppings on, or you can brush it with a little butter and garlic, whatever you want. I'm gonna do a teaspoon on here and see how that goes. Um, I have my toaster oven set at 400, because really all you wanna do is warm this up and get your um, crust on your pizza nice and um, brown and crispy. Okay, so I have my sauce on here. I have literally like a few strips of green bell pepper left. So I'm gonna add those. Normally, if I have a little bit left of extra meat, like sometimes I'll take some of the cooked sausage out of the um, freezer or I'll add some of, I always keep cooked bacon in the freezer. Sometimes I'll add that, or you can even do like chicken if you have any leftover chicken. Um, meatballs might be a good option. I'm just gonna cut up a few of these green bell peppers and add these. And then also a nice addition would be if you had any spinach um, on hand, leftover from the salad that I made before. And so I'm going to uh, use a little bit, not too many, chopped. I like my stuff chopped. When I, when I eat it, I, like to, I don't want to have to cut it necessarily. So I'll do a couple slices of onion. And let me cut these guys up. The possibilities really are endless with something like this because you can really add whatever. If you had barbecue sauce and you um, had some leftover rotisserie chicken or chicken breast from another meal, even if it's just a half of a chicken breast or small amounts of things, pizzas are great for using up um, your leftovers. And then I have some mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and put some on here. I'm gonna spread this on my pan. So, spread my cheese on my pan. You can have whatever kind of cheese. This is mozzarella cheese and um, I'll put some Parmesan on here as well. Just some grated Parmesan. And then I'm gonna pop this into my toaster oven for like eight minutes. And so while that's cooking, I'm gonna make my salad to go with my pizza. I have iceberg lettuce here. I use Newman's Own. I'm gonna throw some of those outer leaves away. So I don't, some of this stuff is not things I normally keep on hand, um, but I'm trying to use up what we have. Got a little brown on the edges, so. So I'm gonna just make a, a quick little salad here with my iceberg lettuce. 
You can, of course, use whatever kind of lettuce you have or want, or spinach if you have spinach. Um, this is one of my favorite simple salads. I used to, when I was in college, I used to eat this kind of salad all the time because it was inexpensive and um, quick. I didn't have to mess with a whole lot of ingredients. So I'm just going to put a little bit of, so now I'm using Kojak cheese. That's, I really like all, most all shredded cheeses on salad, but I'm just gonna do some Kojak cheese on my salad. on there and of course I like crunch so I'm going to add a few croutons to my salad and there we go so my salad's all done now I'm going to check on my almonds I'm going to give them a stir okay so um, I went ahead and uh, I got my my almonds. I had to turn them up a little bit, but my almonds are all nice and toasted for my salad. So there's my pizza. So that looks pretty good, huh? I'm gonna go ahead and let this set out here for a second while I put that onto my cutting board. Here's what we made today. So I've got my ramen noodle salad and my almonds. So those are gonna go back into the refrigerator. I do usually keep my, um, my almonds or my whatever kind of nuts I use for my salad once they're toasted, I do keep them in the refrigerator. So those go back in the refrigerator. And here I have my quick salad that I made. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut my pizza. Sometimes I cut them into squares and sometimes I cut them into triangles, but today I'm gonna to cut it into triangles. So there is a slice of that yummy pizza. So that is all for today. Thank you very much for watching.